and Trish from the Bees Knees and it's time isn't it? It's time! Yes! The hampers are here! We've been uh, kind of teasing, giving a little sneak peek um, but we felt the coronation hamper we put together was, did so well um, and people loved it so we thought why not try it Let's go. and kind of go all out for Christmas. Tell them about hampers. Hampers! So to a lot of people like our camerawoman Jen she thought a hamper was a basket for dirty clothes. There are no dirty clothes in this basket. <laughs> a hamper in England um, is a picnic basket um, that you can fill with like your plates and dishes but also a hamper for packing your picnic or obviously people know Fortnum and Mason hampers filled with lovely things for the holidays. Generally food. but Generally food. Yeah. yeah. There's a twist on that. There's a twist on that and these are Bees Knees curated hampers for Christmas this year. For the holiday season. Yeah. yeah. The must have item. The must have item. So we're going to start at the top, why not, and I'll lift it down, because this isn't a hamper necessarily, this is your gift basket. This is the hot, the chocolate lovers basket. We have um, Emma Bridgewater Christmas Biscuits Cocoa Mug, handmade in Stoke-on-Trent. It's enormous and perfect for a lovely big hot, uh, mug of hot chocolate. Wittard um, of Chelsea, who we now stock, they have a great stacking tin of three different hot chocolates here um, lovely hot chocolates so you can enjoy those in the mug and along with that we've got grandma wilde's chocolate mini chocolate chip biscuits in the little snowman box and a bar of cadbury's mini snowball chocolate it's all in nestled in this basket and ready to give as a fabulous gift Good. Perfect. Yes. Love it. Number one. Gone. Okay, number two of the actual hampers, the smallest one. The uh -oh. mini one. The little mini one. I'm actually moving these over. So not only do you get it filled with goodies, you then have a basket that you can use again and again. So this is kind of the mini hamper. And that's how it will ship if you're ordering it online, yeah. isn't it? It will go like this, all wrapped yeah. in bubble and how we always wrap. Yeah. Um, so kind of for a smaller Christmas. For one or two people. One or two yeah. people. Two Christmas puddings with a mini brandy sauce, the Wittard's Holiday Spice Black Tea, mm -hmm. the Tunnock's Caramel Cracker, some frosted wine gums, Dean Shortbread, a pud, a pud yeah. and like um, Nana Lily's Raspberry and Gin Jam. Yeah. I mean, again, a fabulous, even to give to somebody to eat after Christmas, yeah. um, parents, grandparents, I think. That's and that's packed full. It's really good. Jam packed full. Some of our favorite things in there. Yep, yeah, some yeah. of our favorite things in there. Yeah. That's the mini. Yep. One down, two down, and now this one. <laughs> I can't know what's what's in what's it's gonna open it. Which one's mine? No idea. Oh, this <laughs> baking hamper. Baking hamper. Let's just arrange Let's... that little baby. Oh, oh. So, Nana Lily's. So baking. Did you all watch the Bake Off? Fabulous. Loved it. Nana, Li no, sorry. Grandma Wilde's Christmas pudding biscuits. The brand new. Great British Baking Show, their kitchen classics, but with loads of fabulous recipes. It has. I think they said about 80 recipes, and it's got recipes by Paul, Prue, and some of the contestants in the 2023 season. So it's very current. The latest one. We have this lovely sourdough bread tea towel that shows you all the stages of making sourdough bread. I used to make sourdough during lockdown, okay. and I miss making it. We have the Emma Bridgewater Tin Flour Shaker, which will be your companion when you're rolling out your dough. Exactly. And then for your finished goodies, you might need some salted caramel sauce from Hawk's Head Relish. And as I put in the description online, you can drizzle it on your desserts, you can put it in your trifle, or you can eat it with a spoon out of the jar like Lucinda does. <laughs> <laughs> I used a cracker. <laughs> yeah, she did put that. And then what is not featured on the website, because we literally just received them today. I did put them in the description there. There's no picture. These are the British Bake Off themed spoons for your baking. For your baking. So that's the baking hamper. So for anybody who loves baking or for your family, if you all like to bake together, it will be great under the tree. Okay. Great. Next, Trish. Next. Run out of space. Ta da! I'm da dying because I have no idea what I'm da dying. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. Oh, oh, we want yes. everybody's. Everyone's waiting for this. Oh, Elfie Pops. Paddington himself. Now, Paddington's going on a journey. He's bought some snacks. He's got um, some chocolate chip cookies. He's got a book there to read when he's on the train. He's got his marmalade with him, obviously. Um, he's got money. You need money when you're travelling. <laughs> um, and some, obviously, everyone's favourite smart ones, the chocolate beans for uh, his journey. So this is the Paddington gift basket with his goodies, his book. And, and he, he comes in his own little suitcase. He comes in his own little suitcase.
<laughs> so that's how we get started. <laughs> yeah. I think I can get that one. Woo! Okay, we have two large hampers. Um, so, numero, numero uno. This is, ta -da. So this is the luxury food hamper. Family feast, I call it. Family okay. feast. Yeah. So creative in Artridge. So in this one, it's really made to be, you know, at least a decent sized family. So um, we'll start off, well, if you can zoom in there, because I'm not even going to pick that up. Look at that Christmas cake. Now that's not available on our website, but it's by Nana Lilies. Um, it's the four generation lady that makes her grandma's recipes and her great grandma's recipes. A luxury fruit ice. Yeah, cake. it's got marzipan and icing and it weighs 1.2 kilos, which is like two and a half pounds, isn't mm. it? It's, it's fabulous. Um, then, oh. <laughs> this is the, the petite couture um, set of Christmas um, marmalade, jam and chutney, uh, uh, sorry, cranberry relish, chutney and jam um, in their beautiful By Hawk's head. Hawk's head in their beautiful Italian glass jars. They're gorgeous and they're the ones that are made in the 16th century barn in the Lake District in an open pan. So they are absolutely And you can gorgeous. buy those on the website yes. too. Then Nana Lily's Whiskey Butter. Which has won several great taste awards. Which will go with... Nana Lily's uh, two pound Christmas pudding, four generation Christmas pudding. Um, Nana Lily's Christmas morning marmalade yep. for your morning toast, toast during the festive season. Yeah. Grandma Wilde's Christmas four ball, which contains, is it mini chocolate chips? Mini yes. chocolate chip bites for the tree. And then from Wittars, we've got the Feast of Tea, which is a 40 individually wrapped tea bags and various flavours for the Christmas season. And paired with that, again, we have the nice stacking tower of hot chocolate. Yeah. Uh, so plenty for everyone. So that's the and then last, feet, not last, but last, Oh my gosh. Last but not least, the Grandma Wiles embossed poppies in a van tin. So cute. And this is filled with two types of cookies, stem ginger, lemon biscuits, and chocolate chip and clotted cream biscuits. So a really fantastic gift or a treat for your own family. If you've got a family that you just want to, you know, with a treat for Christmas, that you maybe you won't be seeing them over Christmas, you can send it wherever you want in the US. And yeah, so these are available in store and online, um, and we will pack them extremely carefully if you choose yeah. to have them shipped. It's kind of beautiful so last but by no means least, the latest issue of Boston Magazine, which, remember, we won Best of Boston. <laughs> <laughs> We have the next hamper featured in Boston Magazine. Can you hold Gift die. Can you hold Yep. Boston Magazine. There it is. Gift die. Oh, good grief. It's heavy. <laughs> there we go. So this is the best of British Christmas hamper. Okay. I have one question before you go on. Yes. Are there, do we still have smaller sizes of the Christmas cake or pudding? We have oh. cakes and puddings in smaller sizes, yes. Okay. We have individual ones. We have pound puddings. As well as the two pounds. And we have the Strasbourg cake and we have the mini, we have some fruit cakes, some of the Yule log, and the small square whiskey yes. from Walkers. Yes, the Glen Mini one. So this is featured in Boston Magazine in their gift guide, so we're really honoured to have it featured for sure. This is the best of British um, gift hamper. So we're starting off, it's got an Emma Bridgewater theme. I think you may all know Emma Bridgewater. Her pottery is handmade in stone concrete and has many fabulous accessories. So in this gift basket, you're getting a set of two of the Emma Bridgewater Christmas mugs. Jolly and Holly, Holly Jolly, whatever it is. Um, the Emma Bridgewater Christmas biscuits tin. To put your biscuits in once you've opened them. Mm. Or your mince pies. Or your mince pies, yeah. Um, and then we've got the white Christmas tea. Mm -hmm. That's not by Emma Bridgewater. That's not by Emma Bridgewater. Uh, yes. that, oh, sorry, we'll continue on the other <laughs> As if we don't know her. This is the spruce, the beautiful Bruce, um, spruce, spruce, spruce tray, birch tray, um, which you'll be able to serve all your goodies on. Oh, it's fantastic. And then you get a couple of the baubles that you can fill up and put on your tree. Or just have them as decorations. So then what are you going to serve on your tray and drink out of your mugs? You're going to drink the white Christmas tea. Mm -hmm. Enjoy some... Uh, mince pies, the Walker's Luxury six mince pies, the Strass Bay fruit cake. So this is the one we have a couple left of. Um, Christmas right. pudding, Chris Christmas pudding biscuits, and the Tip Tweet Christmas conserve, which is always a best seller. Best seller yeah. Two holiday candles, the frankincense and 
precious spice nice. just to set that holiday mood, mood while you're yes. enjoying your green and well because he's one of the best of British in the cooking the Jamie Oliver Christmas cookbook which is going to let you make all your own goodies yeah it's really great yeah. I love his sort of cocktail recipe out there I made his cauliflower and broccoli cheese out of there he oh, does so, so, yeah. stuff. so that is the best of Brit British hand put as featured in Boston magazine we hope you love them. Let us yes. know what you think. Um, Take a look online. Take a look. All, all descriptions are online. Any more questions, Jen? That's it. That's it. So no, that's it. That's it. Oh, go oh. check them out under Brand Hampers. You'll find them all and you'll find full descriptions. And in the Christmas set. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.